Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. So what is a MAN? MAN stands for Metropolitan Area Network. In geographic terms, a MAN is larger than a LAN, which is a local area network, but smaller than a WAN, which is a wide area network. MANs are usually up to 5 miles wide in diameter. Think of a MAN as the size of a small city or a large college campus. MANs and WANs have a lot of similar characteristics. The main characteristic being that they both unify LANs together with each other. However, the main difference is WANs potentially span up to thousands of miles apart, while MANs never really exceed more than just a few miles. MANs will commonly use fiber optic connections to maximize the bandwidth and reach of the LANs. Again, MANs are typically found in college campuses or urban business centers where multiple large corporations and organizations will exist and high bandwidth is required between them. Usually MANs are owned and operated by a single entity such as an ISP, which stands for Internet Service Provider. That entity at that point would then sell its services to others who would like to be a part of a high-speed bandwidth MAN. So let's look at this image for example. In this situation I have four buildings connected to each other. So this would be a perfect example of what a college campus MAN would look like. We have one building that's on the far end of the campus and this is the devices in its LAN. These devices would need to communicate to the other buildings on the campus. If they need to do so, they can communicate through the MAN without the use of the internet. So if the host in building 1 needed to communicate to the host in building 4, they can do so through their MAN. All the host would end up doing is go through their gateway, travel through the MAN, and then connect to the other building, all without having to traverse the internet. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section.